Hi, uh, so today we're going to talk about setting up and uh, running this Dutch wall clock. Um, this one is uh, a pretty typical Dutch wall clock. Um, one thing that does make it a little bit different than most is that it has an enclosed pendulum. So uh, if you've watched any other videos, you'll see that I'm going to do this one a little bit out of order because I want to talk about regulating it before I put it up on the wall. Um, so as far as getting it uh, ready to go up on the wall, uh, the most important thing that you're going to want to do is to make sure that you use a pan head type of screw to hold the clock against the wall. And it's got to be small enough, obviously it's going to fit up into the, into the hole at the back. Um, and it also has to hold the clock flush to the wall. When I've got the clock turned over, um, you'll notice a few things. First of all, whenever I move the clock, I've always got the chains pulled right up as far as they'll go. So the chains cannot come off of the tracks inside. So they're pulled right up to the stops on, on both sides. Um, the other thing you notice that on the back of the clock uh, is that I have put two little pads on here, which are non-skid pads, which actually stop the clock from moving from side to side once it's up on the wall. And that's kind of important because you don't want to be having to reset the clock every time that you uh, pull the chains, pull the weights up on it. Um, so installing the pendulum on this clock it has to be done when it's off of the wall. You can't hook it up where it's on the wall because it's totally enclosed. So we'll uh, show you how to install it. It also, while I've got the pendulum off, I'm going to talk about regulating the timekeeping. Now when we do the uh, repairs and the overhaul on the clock, of course the timekeeping is adjusted. Um, so it should be something you don't have to worry about unless of course this little nut gets moved somehow in transport in which case you may have to do some adjusting on it. Uh, adjusting this clock means taking it off of the wall obviously and then taking the pendulum off and then having to adjust the little nut on the bottom underneath the horse and rider. Uh, to make the clock run faster you want to raise this up higher and to make the clock run slower you want to lower the pendulum bob down lower. So if you can remember lower is slower that's really important. Okay, um, and so hooking it up onto the clock when it's off is just simply a matter of very carefully hooking it into the onto the little inverted T. Make sure that it's seated right down as far as it'll go, and then hook the pendulum, put the pendulum inside the case, mess it inside there like so. Then we're going to close it up, and I've already got a screw up on the wall that I've been testing it on, so we'll go into the other room and we'll get the clock hung up on the wall. So of course with the pendulum on it now, uh, the clock is very um, fragile, so you just have to be really careful moving it around with the pendulum hooked on it. Don't want to be swinging it around or moving it around too much. So let, try to let the pendulum rest against the uh, back of the case. Obviously you're going to want to do this a little bit closer to where you're putting it on the wall than what I'm doing it. But, uh, if you can do it as close as possible. So you see in here I've got a screw on the wall which has a pan head which means it's going to hold the clock uh, tight to the to the wall once I get it hung up there. You see what I mean? There we go, get it locked right in place. Get it sort of set up by eye as far as level is concerned. Make sure the chains are all good and free there. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put a level right across here. Because that's the way that I've set it up, is that it's level across the front. So we put a level across here, make sure it's level. Then we can hang the weights on it. Pendulum's already on, so the next thing to do is hang on the weight, hang the weights on. And you'll notice that with the non-skid pads on the back, the clock doesn't move around once it's set up level, which is kind of good. So Getting this clock started again is a little bit different. What you're going to need is a pen or a pencil or something like that. that you can actually get into the little opening for the pendulum. So up in, about, up in here, there's an opening that you can actually get in to sort of swing, get the pendulum started to swing. So if the clock is uh, set up level now and it's nice and flush to the wall like it should be, you, can, you don't have it leaning forward, then the clock should start running and ticking nice and evenly. This one's pretty quiet, so it's going to be pretty hard to hear what it sounds like. But if you put your ear right next to it, you can hear this doing a nice tick, 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 tick. If the clock is doing tick, tock, tick, tock, then <laughs> you've done something wrong in the setup and you should start over again. Uh, make sure that you haven't uh, moved the, the leader for the pendulum inside accidentally. Uh, but at this point, if you've been careful hooking it up, then the clock should be up and running. And the next step will be to actually set it on time. 
So for the sake of uh, showing you how to do this, we're going to show you how to do it over a longer time. We're going to uh, we're going to pretend that the time right now is quarter past four. So right now I'm going to move this ahead to two o'clock. And I'm going to stop every half hour here and just let it strike. So just like that, as far as setting the time is concerned, I'm going to set it to the right time. Now, uh, one thing I do want you to be aware of is winding the clock should be done once a week. Make sure that you pull the weights right up as far as they'll go whenever you wind it up. Uh, and you also want to give it a height from the floor which will allow the clock to run for a full week. So probably a little bit higher than what I've got it here. Uh, the chain should be just off of the floor and that should allow it to run for, for a full week. So maybe another six inches higher than what I've got it set up here would be, would be uh, ideal. Um, so winding it up right to the very top whenever you do wind the clock. I mean you can wind it as often as you like if the weights are down here and you don't like the look of it, then wind the clock up. Um, and every time you wind it, reset it on the right time. Um, so just make sure that you're you've got an accurate timekeeper whenever you wind the clock. And you can turn the hands backwards inside of the half hours. Do not go past the 12 or the 6 whenever you're setting the time. You can go ahead, of course, and go past the 12 or the 6. But don't go back, don't go back past the 12 or the 6. So anywhere in that time, uh, in, in that uh, time frame should do it. Um, of course, if you have any questions at all when you're setting it up or running it, then you can always give us a call. Our telephone number is 705-325-1455, and we're happy to answer any questions. And we can usually walk you through anything if you're having issues with the clock. Give us a call. Thanks.